Good morning. Thank you for joining us today to honor the veterans buried in the Lincoln Regional Center cemeteries. When the servicemen were honoring today were buried, they were buried with just a patient number. Today we want to give them the dignity of their names and we want to honor their service. The driving force behind this important project was retired Army Colonel Larry Nelson, who served in both the Army Reserve and on active duty for 37 years, and is also a retired member of the Lincoln Police Department. While attending a training event at the Hastings Regional Center in 2010, a colleague took Colonel Nelson to the HRC Cemetery and pointed out the signif significant number of headstones that only contained a number. After learning these were patient numbers, he was inspired to identify and honor the veterans at each of the cemeteries. Colonel Nelson, along with our health information management staff, dedicated hundreds of hours of time reading old handwritten folios and scanning microfiche. That research resulted in the identification of these veterans. Saturday I was out here, and I had my stuff and then I looked them up. Where's this guy and where's this guy? Yeah, you gotta find him on the grid, but you can do that, it's not difficult. And then go find him and stick an American flag over their grave. I'm telling you, that was very emotional for me. I don't get emotional a lot, but that, was, that struck my heart. This is the first time ever that this person has had a flag flying over their grave. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so thanks to Rachel Johnson. We've uh, been compadres on this. Thank you, Colonel. These heroes have laid here unnamed and unrecognized for a very long time. And now that day is over. Now we can speak their names and give voice to their service and their struggle. Once long ago, they swore a sacred oath and served a great sacrifice. And now after being long forgotten, they have been reclaimed and named among the brotherhood of their fellow soldiers. Ready to read the names? Okay. John R. Joseph. Patrick Kelly. John P. Little. While we're celebrating their memories, we must also recognize the tragedy of war and the mark that it left on the veterans who are interred here. Frank Marshall. In the days when the service members we're honoring were patients here, when the Lincoln Regional Center was known as the Nebraska Hospital for the Insane, having a relative in a psychiatric hospital was widely viewed as a source of shame. Arthur Nelson. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. Frank Rhodes. From the beginning, this project also included an intent to advocate for mental health care, for current active military veterans and their families. Charles H. Robinson. Known long ago as shell shock or combat fatigue, PTSD affected many of the soldiers buried at the Lincoln Regional Center who fought in a variety of conflicts, including the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and World War I. Since that time, our understanding of the fallout of war, especially post-traumatic stress disorder, has progressed. Ori Shannon. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Edward Thomas. Our commitment to veterans is ongoing. Preventing veteran suicide is a cornerstone of a new initiative championed by Governor Pete Ricketts. And Frank Winfield. We continue to work to combat the stigma of behavioral health conditions, 
and a large part of combating stigma involves talking about it and educating people that it's no more shameful to have a mental health condition than it is to have a heart attack or diabetes. Their time of war and waiting is over and their peace has finally begun. Let us honor their service with a moment of silence.